So these are RBC. You know that RBC has no any nucleus. It has only hemoglobin substance. Sir, erythrocytic schizogony begins with two stages. Begins with how many stages? Two stages. One is micrometacryptozoids. Micrometacryptozoids. Otherwise, cryptozoids. Otherwise, crypto joints so here generally this life cycle begins with the entry of micro meta crypto joints or crypto joints so generally these micro meta crypto joints which entered into the rbc which entered into the rbc they transformed into trophozoite first they transformed into trophozoite Okay now, so here after this trophozoid stage, so there is a development of small nucleus, sorry vacuole. So if you take, there is a development of small vacuole and this vacuole slowly develops into, so this vacuole pushes the nucleus to a corner. Then this stage looks like a finger ring, it looks like a finger ring so now this is called as signet ring stage signet ring stage how why it is called as signet ring stage signet ring stage so when that vacuole pushes nucleus to a corner then it is looking like a ring you know then it is looking like a ring so then it is called as signet ring stage so later so this parasite losses what that uh, food vacuoles and develops and develops pseudopodia and develops what pseudopodia so now the parasite stays with the pseudopodia the parasite stays with the pseudopodia is called as amoeboid stage is called as amoeboid stage okay means the pseudopodia helps in the movement of the parasite within the what so that uh, rbc then with this help of pseudopodia the parasite will move so the parasite will move and feeds upon the rbc especially hemoglobin so when it is feeding upon the hemoglobin so generally globin is digested but here the heme is not digested by the parasite so here generally uh, this soluble heme is converted into insoluble granules they are uh, considered as a hemozoin granules they are considered as hemozoin granules so these you know hemoglobin granules hemozoin granules are nothing but pigments they are nothing but what hemozoin granules so hemozoin granules are nothing but the pigments produced by the a uh, hemoglobin destruction okay next along with the hemoglobin granules there are some red color dots are present there are some red color dots are present in that okay so these red color dots are called as schaffner's dots these red color dots are called as what schaffner's dots schaffner's dots okay so these schaffner's dots are nothing but antigens produced by the malaria parasite what are these antigens produced by the malaria parasite okay now next so here this after continuous eating so that amoeboid stage losses pseudopodia and it develops into a big structure called as shy joint again it develops into shy joint and this shy joint undergoes the divisions this shy joint undergoes the divisions okay so if you look at the rbc 
there are 12 to 24 nuclei are formed how many 12 to 24 nuclei are formed by the division of nucleus of the shy joint so how many are formed 12 to 24 sir here these 12 to 24 uh, what nuclei receive some sort of cytoplasm they receive some sort of cytoplasm and they developed into merozoites they are developed into merozoites so these merozoites are nothing but what you know erythrocytic merozoites what are these erythrocytic merozoites okay so these 12 to 24 merozoites are arranged like a rose pellets arranged like which stay which rose pellets they are arranged like a rose pellets now this stage is called as rosetti stage now this stage is called as which stage rosetti stage so after rosetti stage so here this rbc wall undergoes the disruption rbc wall undergoes the disruption so these merozoites are released outside these merozoites will come outside from the rbc and released into the circulatory system along with these schaffner's dots hemojoint granules are also released schaffner's dots and hemojoint granules also released into the circulatory system okay so here this is called as erythrocytic shaijogani which is completed in 48 hours which is completed in 48 hours otherwise two days okay next after this erythrocytic merozoites formation after the erythrocytic merozoites formation they after repeated repeated erythrocytic cycle actually erythrocytic cycle is also called as golgi cycle because it was explained by the camillo golgi scientist so these merozoites after repeated repeated erythrocytic shaijogani they develops into gametocytes actually they moves into spleen and bone marrow sir they moves into spleen and bone marrow so they develops into gametocytes they develops into gametocyte so the gametocyte which is small in size called as microgametocyte microgametocyte the gametes which are big in size they are called as macrogametocytes macrogametocytes sir here nuclei Microgametocytes are known as male gametes, male gametocytes. Okay. Microgametocytes are called as male gametocytes. Macrogametocytes are called as what? Female gametocytes. So this is about the microgametocyte and male gam um, macrogametocytes. These are found in spleen and bone marrow cell. So they will not develop into any stage. They will live in the spleen and bone marrow in the human being and they comes to the circulatory system. These microgametocytes, macrogametocytes comes into circulatory system. They have to transfer into the female anaphylis mosquito. Otherwise, they will die within a week because the pH and the environment in the blood is not suitable for the development of gametocytes. So, gametocytes must be transferred to female anaphylis mosquito within a week otherwise if they are not transferred to the anaphylis mosquito they will die okay so this is totally human phase means the asexual life cycle of plasmodium vivax that occurs in the human being